Hello everyone, this is Meads, and I'll be talking about card games. Um, card games that I, I like to play, and used to play. But given the opportunity, I'll probably play them again, with my friends, or with my family. So here's a fun one. It's called Flux. And I'll probably just try to grab a stack of them. It's actually quite a lot. But this is with the expansion, so... Yeah. <laughs> So here's the back of the card, Flux, and I believe it is a promo card, Cup Like a Martian. They have a Martian Flux, and let me know if you guys want to see that. And here's the basic rules. To begin, shuffle up the deck and deal 3 cards to each player. Choose someone to go first, keep this card on the table. Draw one, then you play one card. So you're probably wondering what are those cards, what's the purpose of this game, or how do you win? What's the goals? Well, let's go over that. So, you get, uh, as you progress to the game, it gets more chaotic actually, because you can get new rules. So you'll be replacing draw 1, or actually, play 1 with play 3. So instead of um, playing just 1, you get to play 3, which could be in your advantage, or disadvantage. It quite depends. So there's also draw 2. But this stays in the game, so you just put it on top of uh, the basic rule, and there's your new rules. Straightforward. You also get the action cards. Um, these are one-time use, and again, you might you can use this to your advantage, because it lets you draw a tree and you play two of them. And you're probably wondering, um, yeah, what's the goal of this game? Well, you get to have this card. And it says here, the player with milk and cookies, these are actually keepers, which is right here. Next two cards, milk and cookies. And any player who has it wins the game. So, um, I guess a good strategy is, you know, keep uh, the milk and cookies. Then you wait for someone to play this, or if you play it, then you win. Or if you already have the gold milk and cookies, and you already have the milk... You know, you hold it till um, someone plays cookies, or or actually, or till you get the cookies. Then you can play all of them. Sounds like a good plan, huh? But not quite, because there's other cards, like this one, which messes up your strategy. Hand limit one. You can only keep one card. So I guess it's the uh, you know the randomness and you know chaotic of the game which makes it fun, or hence the name flux. So ever-changing rules there's also a creeper um, very much this doesn't let you win but you can get rid of them um, every time the goal changes so even though the goal says that you have cookies and cream I mean cookies and cookies and, cream, <laughs> cookies and milk and you have all those two keepers you can't win if you have this yeah someone needs to change the rule I mean the goal or someone or if you find a way to get rid of this and that's pretty much it. It's a lot, you know, a lot of cards. And uh, I wonder if they have it here. Here we go. So I got the expansion card. And I think if you get the 4.0 version of this, um, it has all of them. Yep. And here's the creator of Flux, Mr. Andy Looney. Great guy. A lot of crazy ideas, but most of them are fun. <laughs> Especially this card game. And it says here, not void, I mean, not valid without Andy's autograph. So, it'd be cool to see him in person one day and get this signed. <laughs> yep. And uh, if you're wondering where you can get the flux, um, you can check your local card shop or check his uh, website, looneylabs.com, I think. Yep, they sell Fluxster and other um, card games and... Other... It actually has a lot of other games. Which are interesting. Like those pyramids. Yep. So that's Flux. It comes with other variants, as I mentioned before. And actually, you can create your own. You can buy the blanks, create your own goal, your keeper, rule, and action, or even a creeper here. Just haven't used it yet. <laughs> and here's another theme. Zombie Flux. There's also Eco Flux and Family Flux. 
I have the Eco Flux. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. Comment below. And here's Zombie. Which I'm going to show you in a second. Or once I open it. <laughs> so for this one, I really like the design. Of the illustration. It's pretty cool. And here's an expansion pack. You get the flamethrower plus zombie creeper cards. It's for two dollars. So you get more zombies. <laughs> Fine. Okay, let me just try to grab this. Uh, there we go. And there's more. I mean, there's an instruction there too. By the way, um, this uh, wooden box is actually a separate. You don't get them when you buy the zombie flux. It's an, actually a separate um, purchase and why I got this is pretty much there's a promo card, the zombie boss, which are which is pretty cool. And that's the only way you can get it, you have to buy the, if you buy the box. Anyways, um, let's look, have a look on the uh, inside. Again, basic rules. And uh, you're gonna see creepers or the zombies. And... On this action, you can exchange keepers, which one, uh, the ones you actually need them. So you can steal someone. <laughs> actually, there's a action called steal, uh, steal a keeper. <laughs> but this one you have to exchange. And you have the flamethrower, which you can use to kill zombies. Because zombies are not cool, huh? You need to get rid of them to win. <laughs> so example of zombie, you have the zombie here. You get a pair of zombies. Um... Move this card to any other player if you kill a different creeper during your turn. And a trio, when the, when killed, you can move this to a player on your left or right, depending on the arrow. And zo zombie quartet, when killed, this card is placed on top of the draw pile instead of the discard pile. So they keep coming back. Quite annoying, huh? <laughs> so we have uh, different keepers, the baseball bat, lumber, gasoline, friend. Donuts, shotgun. If you have this, you can kill one creeper at any time, I guess. I mean, during your turn. Only one creeper during your turn. You have the car. And more goals. And one of them is shotgun. You win if you have the shotgun and the car. <laughs> Quite fun. So more zombies. You play for. We're alright. So if you have those two keepers. The two friends and no zombies in front of you, you win. More zombies, draw five. And actually, here's one of the. <clears throat> actually, this guy here. <laughs> Larry the zombie. I think it's a promo card. Yeah. So it says here you can't win with this card, even if the rules or goal currently allow you for victory with zombies. Larry moves in the counter turn direction anytime the goal changes. So only way to get rid of Larry is if you, the goal changes. And zombies are, aren't that bad on this one. Actually, you can win with them, especially if you have the four, three, two, one zombies. If you got them in front of you, you win with this goal. There's also the end goal. Pretty much, if this criteria criteria are met, if there's more than five zombies in play, and each one has needs to be, have a zombie, then nobody wins. <laughs> and yeah it's pretty fun a lot of zombies and I wonder if I can find the zombie boss I actually didn't thought of you know taking it out but we'll see so it's a fun game quite a of um, of rules and possibilities yep flux a game of ever-changing rules <laughs> And I don't think I'll be able to find them. Is it even here? Hand limit 3, adrenaline bonus, no hand bonus, hand limit 1, eaten by zombies. And groaning required. <laughs> yep. Play all zombie season, zombie repellent. I guess I don't have it on this one. Or, nope, I don't have it for some reason. I probably misplaced it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you want to see the other teams. Again, this is Meats. Thank you for watching.